you had to glue them. <laughs> Controlled. Feedback. So, this is the new one. Uh, I tuned it down. We'll see if it stays in tune. It's only been tuned for a couple of hours. That would look cool. Right? I think I'm going to put like jewels right there in the eyes, huh? Uh huh, huh? I don't know if that'll stay or not. We'll find out. Probably be gone by the end. Got tons of them though. Alright, so there you go. This is there. I've scribbled some stuff on there just because this is a, now a beater. And I'm going to relic it. He's relicked it, but I'm going to start beating this thing. It's even got the little, see the little, uh, ooh, they're skulls, and they're uneven. <laughs> the guy admits he's doing it on his own, and hey, you know what? Go for it. I'll try one out. Trouble is, I had to swap the pickup out. What do you want to hear me play? Huh? What? Motley Crue? <laughs> My own song? Uh, well, I don't really know that many songs. I never learned any. I only learned a few songs for the encores. Other than that, nothing. <laughs> So I'm getting hold of Tracy G. I'm going to talk to him and see if we can uh, hook up. Not hook up, but ask him a few questions and stuff. Uh, he used to play with my first singer in Trick or Treat. Pansy Poser. Um, yeah, but because I've been listening to the albums he did with Dio. Holy crap. That dude was a good, is a good guitarist. His new stuff is it's pretty good but the stuff he did with Dio is amazing even the stuff he did with Pansy was really good just Pansy keeps stepping on his own you know he throws out so much bull crap and screws so many people over that the karma bad karma he's got coming back to him if you do believe in karma is just <clears throat> he has a few people fooled but most people are starting to realize the guy was just had always been full of crap. So here, yeah, but well, okay, so. You know who I'm talking about? World War Three.
And that is it for tonight. The pirate! <laughs> Alright, man. Keep subscribing. Keep commenting. Comment! People didn't comment, really, on the last two videos. But look what I gave you. The best-sounding friggin' Randy Rhodes live you'll ever get. Because Sharon is sitting on a crap load. This is proof. I didn't, I'm so glad I found this tape. Because no one believed me that I had right from the master, one generation, boop, and then it's gone. I hadn't seen that tape for years. It's the Kalamazoo, Michigan, 82, of course, diary, straight from the soundboard to a tape, my tape, high def tape, because you had to make sure you got high bias, not high def, high bias tapes. Because if you got normal tapes, all the highs are... Pfft. So I got a high bias tape, straight from the soundboard tape. And then my friend, Anthony Silva, which you'll see if you go on there. Only 400 people have watched it so far, since Friday. Now, on Facebook, I had a, hundreds of people watching. We had a listening party. I don't know if you want me to do it again, and I will if you want. If you do, say, have another listening party, and we'll, we'll listen to it together again. I could listen to that thing forever. I've had a copy um, of it on my little MP3 player. I listen to it all the time. I love it. It's the best out there. And now it's even better. Because I'm thinking, wow, these drums sound really good. And everything sounds better. And he says, yeah, I remastered it. I'm like, no wonder. So there it is. You can't get it any better than that. So listen to it. Randy Rhodes, soundboard, live, 1982, uh, highest quality. I think that's the thing. Under Just look under on my channel. You'll find it. Listen to it. It's the best. And if you need to do something, go right to Suicide Solution and listen to the solo. Because the guy at the soundboard was re was uh, working the delay so when he, he would do this delay where his sound like the sound was bouncing off itself you'd be like holy crap that's crazy man he'd be doing this, like some lick and then it would just like wow i'd just be everywhere it's really prominent on this tape so listen to it and quit being a peckerwood <laughs> I do these things for you. What do you do for me? All I want you to do is watch and comment and subscribe. Up to about, I said, think 720 something, I think. Very good. Let's keep going. Because you know what's next. It's the uh, lesson, which I, it's not there. <laughs> but he, my friend is going to go ahead and... Uh, redo that because the lesson I have is not very good there's a few lessons where I'm just playing like or he teach me a lick and then he's just friggin' ripping. Randy Rhodes. I've got like one, two tapes of him, me playing rhythm, and he's playing lead. And I'm just like, that's so I could hear him, but see him. And then he would tell me how to do it and usually write down a little. I don't know where the tabs are. I, I Hopefully that will pop up too. I'm finding all this stuff now because my mom is cleaning out their house. And it's, it's, it's all good for both of us, really. So there you go. See ya.